So my favourite genre of music, which this takes a lot of people by surprise, is like R&B hip hop. Yeah, I just love it. Yeah, I like 50 Cent. Hi, my name's Anna and I'm a senior stylist at Becky B. I started hairdressing from doing work experience at school. Um, and when I first started, I thought it was going to be super glamorous and I'd get my hair done all day. And then I did my work experience and I loved it, but boy, was I wrong. It's definitely not as glamorous as what people think. I think I worked that out pretty quick within the first week that it wasn't what yeah, I thought it was going to be. And yet yeah, hairdressers actually work really hard. <laughs> From there, I went on to still work in a salon while I was still at school. And then when I finished school, I started my apprenticeship and then just kept going. When Catherine first spoke to me about joining the Becky B team, I had already followed the girls on Facebook, so I already knew kind of how much fun they had. Um, so it didn't really take a lot of convincing. Kat just said how much fun it was going to be and how great Becky was and how great all the girls were and I trusted everything Kat said and it's worked out for the best. But she did say to me that it's pretty crazy because I was a little bit concerned that I probably wouldn't like fit in there um, being a little bit quieter but yeah Kat said to me that she kind of felt the same way when she first started but it was really easy to fit in and yeah it definitely has been really easy. They're like my best friends. This salon's definitely different to other salons I've worked in in the past. Just the atmosphere and the way we all work as a team and the way we interact with clients is just so much better. Growing up as an only child and not really having anybody to fight with or never have to, I guess, yell <laughs> or speak loudly to get attention because it was always just there. Now I've kind of come in and I've got nine sisters and sometimes it's a little bit chaotic, but I'm yeah, learning to stand up for myself. So my role in the Becky B drama is I'm pretty much like Switzerland. I like to think of myself as the peacekeeper and I just don't take sides. So I kind of just sit in the middle on the fence and keep everyone happy. <laughs> Becky also tells me that I'm like a cool cucumber because I do sort of create calmness amongst all the chaos that goes on around us every day. <laughs> I think it's impacted my life in hairdressing. I feel it's probably made me a stronger hairdresser. Um, but outside of here, Becky's definitely taught me a lot more confidence. We've been working on it for a while. One time when we went out for a girls weekend, it was actually Talia's birthday and I had actually, for our rap bottle, had learnt a bit of a birthday song and I had this idea that maybe I could sing it to her. And so at 12 o'clock, I kindly asked the DJ if she could play this song. And I was just reminding her, you know, like, okay, it's 10 minutes to, it's 5 to, like, just so bang on 12 that she would play it. And then next minute I knew the security guard had asked me to leave. <laughs> So there was another time when I decided and thought it was a good idea to put my colour on before we left the Caloundra salon and then by the time we got to North Lakes it would be ready to rent. So it was me and Kim in the car and we just got on the highway and next minute there had been a crash so the traffic was all back to back. My high lift that's meant to sit on for 45 minutes to an hour was pretty much on my hair for nearly two hours. Kim did have an idea that we're, as we were passing the Kabulcha petrol station that she wanted to stop and rinse my colour off in the public toilet, which I wasn't really <laughs> wanting to do. So I said, no, I'll just persevere. And then so when we got back here and rinsed my colour off for the next few days, it was almost like I had third degree burns, especially around my hairline. So in five years time, I definitely still see myself being here with Becky, um, maybe managing one of the salons. And at the moment I'm studying trichology. So I hope to definitely be doing a little bit in that field. What got me interested in trichology is when I started, um, Becky and Kat were studying it. And so I'd always sort of look over their shoulders and see little snippets of what they were doing. And then when they would talk about it to me, it was just really interesting. So when Becky offered me the chance to be able to study it as well, 
yeah, I jumped at it. My favorite part about doing hair is, I would say having the ability to change the way somebody feels. They walk in and don't really love themselves and then when you do their hair, it's almost like transforming their life and they walk out and they just feel so much better. So that's my favorite. If I could have any hairstyle in the world, I would have a big blonde afro. <laughs> yeah, that's actually true. I did her one for Halloween and she almost cried. Yeah, like really big curls is what I would have. 